Hello citizens and welcome back. This is our match reaction to Luton Town 2, Man City 6 in the FA Cup 5th round. Make sure to hit that like button, hit subscribe as well. Let's jump into it. So Pep went strong as I expected and, you know, he went Ortega in goal. All right with that. And everyone else was pretty much spot on as well. He rested a few players. Diaz was on the bench. Um, Grealish came in. Doku was on the bench. Foden was on the bench. So he did rest some players ahead of the United game, but he did go strong and... It's actually quite a bizarre game, this, because we we rushed into a 3-0 lead in the first, what was it, 40 minutes, but we didn't really look settled at all throughout that first half. And in fact, oh, we, we seem to be more direct than usual. And I hope that's a lesson to everyone in the team and a lesson to Pep that teams like Arsenal and uh, Liverpool score as many goals as they do because they're direct and they don't hang about just passing the ball for 30 30 minutes at the edge of the opposition box, because we didn't do that today. We just, once we got forward, De Bruyne and Haaland, they were ruthless and they were clinical in the passing and their finishing. And of course, De Bruyne and Haaland today were unbelievable. I mean, what De, De Bruyne got, was it four assists? Haaland got five goals. And like I said, it was because when De Bruyne gets the ball, he doesn't hang around. He doesn't look for to hold on to the ball. He doesn't want to go backwards like many of our players do. He just wants to get the ball forward, and he wants to get the ball forward as quickly as possible, and Haaland wants that ball as quickly as possible. In fact, I think it was his, was it his third goal? I think it was his hat-trick goal where De Bruyne has passed the ball through from receiving the ball from Haaland. Who, by the way, his holder player today was phenomenal, Haaland. He holds the ball up, gives it back to De Bruyne, turns, runs, and he doesn't even look back over his shoulder. He just sprints head down and then suddenly finds the ball in front of him where he dinks it over the, the keeper. And that's what we need in this team. That's that's what we've been missing for these last few weeks. So we got that. And of course, Haaland finishes all... Well, he doesn't finish all the chances he gets, but he finishes most of them. And he was absolutely clinical. Like I said, he was ruthless today. And I'm hoping he takes that into the United game because we need some of that. Uh, I think his fifth goal, though, was poor from the goalkeeper. But other than that, no complaints. And no complaints from the Braun as well. Them two, when they're on it, like the end of last season, them two, unstoppable. And we, we saw it again today. Uh, for the rest of the team, you know, I don't want to really focus on individual performances per se because I, th I think there was, overall, everyone was really good. But what, what I will comment on is Stones. Does anyone actually know where Stones plays in this team? Because... Center half, right back, left back, center mid, attacking mid, left wing, right wing. I think he was center forward at one point in the game. He turns up absolutely everywhere. There were times when he played a through ball through for people. There was times when he was running onto through balls. It was absolutely everywhere, John. Today, he was, he was a menace. And that's, that's what we've been missing as well in the first half of the season when he was injured. We missed that. You know, he, he's, he's solid defensively. I mean, he's phenomenal defensively. He's one of the best defenders Um in the league, he's probably the best centre half that England have got when he's fit. But everywhere else as well, he he can do everything. He can pass. He can run. He can dribble. You know, um, yeah, he, he's phenomenal today, John. And if it wasn't for Haaland and Bruyne, you'd have to give him man of the match because again, I have no idea where he plays, and I don't think the Luton Town players knew where he played either because they couldn't keep up with him. I don't know who was supposed to be marking him, but he clearly wasn't. Um, I think. As well, Walker had a decent game. I think for the first time in a long time, if not this season, I saw him covered on the left-hand side. He was in the center. He was on the right. You know, and he swept up quite well today, Walker. And in fact, he played a wonderful through ball for Haaland's, I think it was Haaland's fifth. He played a great ball up to De Bruyne. You could turn with it and simple pass across the box to Haaland. So he had a really good game. Um, Kovacic, his finish was phenomenal. I mean, the dip he got on that in the power. is an incredible goal from Kovacic, to be fair. And another one I want to mention is Nunes. I think Nunes, if that wasn't his best game, it was definitely his second best game for us because he was full of confidence today. The way he held the ball up, the way he was turning on it as well. He was nice and comfortable whether he was facing um, away from goal or to it. Um, he looked really good, Nunes, today. I, I was really happy with that performance from him. And we need more. That may be the key is not playing him at the Etihad where the fans get on his back when he makes a mistake letting him just do his own thing because again I think he looked confident and in fairness I think the whole team looked confident you know like I said even though we didn't look settled in that first half because of the goals we scored and because of the way we just set out the traps and we just attacked I, I think that suits the players more and I think that suits some of the newer players like Doku like Nunes like Kovacic as well I, I think when we're passing it around and we're not really playing up to their strengths like we're not playing up to Doku's strength like you know on counter-attacking football or Nunes 
we playing playing in the middle as our um, as our key centre man because uh, that's what De Bruyne does and Foden. I think when we're playing to these play strengths, I, I I think we do get more out of them and we're seeing the better side of them. And again, like today, we saw Haaland, we, we played to his strengths, which was counter-attacking football, getting it to him quickly and just finishing it off. So yeah, it was a good performance, a good win. Um, defensively, we looked a little bit shambles at times, but who cares? We scored six goals away from home against the Premier League team. And for me, that's, that's all that matters. We're going to the quarterfinal. And really, this is where the season starts. The season doesn't start before this game. It doesn't start during. It starts after. The, the season starts on Sunday against United at the Etihad. That's where our season starts. But this is a really good warm-up to that game because this is, you know, it, it for the first time for a while, we've seen our attack inside just flourish. Um, defensively, we could be better, but different players are going to be coming in. And I think you could see who he's going to play in that game when he took Ake off, he took Bernardo off, he, he took Haaland off. You know, so I, I think we... Oh, and he took Stones off as well. So you can expect Stones, Diaz, Ake and Walker in that back four, I think, against United. Uh, I think that'd be harsh on Akanji, but I think that's who he's going to play in back four. And of course, Roger's got to come in yet as well. I forgot Roger didn't play in this game. Roger didn't play. Um, those we can win without Roger. But look, season starts now. Head down, take this confidence into United and absolutely obliterate them. And I, what I want to see in that game is what we did in this game, which was just play direct for the first half hour. Just go at them. Don't let them settle on it. Don't let them just line up and watch us pass the ball around. Just go at them from the first minute. Get an early goal. Get an early second goal. Because if United can see the early, early two goals, they'll crumble. You know, they'll, they'll, they'll lose complete confidence and we can just do what we want with them in the second half. And we've seen it so many times in recent years. That's what I want to see from that game. Yeah, great win today. Quarter final. Can't wait to see who we get in the next round. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking it out. Make sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe as well. See you again. Bye bye.